Rockwell B-1 Lancer, the most dangerous bomber in the whole world. Rockwell B-1 Lancer is an American supersonic strategic bomber with variable sweep wings, manufactured by Rockwell International. The Rockwell B-1 Lancer was developed to replace the Boeing B-50 to Stratofortress, although the latter is still in use by the United States Air Force today. Specifications of Rockwell B-1 Lancer B-1A. Length, 46 meters. Wingspan, 41.67 meters, minimum sweep angle, and 23.84 meters, maximum sweep angle. Height, 10.24 meters. Wing area, 181.2 m. Empty weight, 64,860 kg. Maximum takeoff weight, 176,800 kg. Engine, for tons F101GE100 turbofan engines. Maximum speed, 2,300 km per hour. Maximum flight altitude, 18,900 meters. History. In December 1957, the U.S. Air Force accepted a proposal from North American Aviation to replace the fleet of Boeing B-50 to Stratofortress strategic bombers with the XB-7B Valkyrie. The XB-70 was a six-engine jet bomber capable of flying at an altitude of 21 kilometers, making it practically invulnerable to enemy fighters. Soviet interceptors could not reach aircraft flying at such heights. However, by the late 1950s, surface-to-air missile SAMs had developed to a point where they could shoot down high-altitude targets, as evidenced by the downing of a U-2 in 1960. Even before the U-2 was shot down, the U.S. Air Force Strategic Command recognized the need to switch tactics to low-altitude penetration. This tactic reduced the detection range of the aircraft by enemy radar. At that time, SAMs were not highly effective against low-flying targets, and low-flying targets were difficult to detect with interceptor radar due to the complexity of target acquisition. The high air resistance at low altitudes would force the XB-70 to fly at near sonic speeds, significantly reducing its operational range. Ultimately, it was found that the Valkyrie would be forced to fly at speeds comparable to the B-52 it was supposed to replace with a shorter range. The Valkyrie project was later canceled by U.S. President John F. Kennedy in 1961, as it was unsuitable for the new role. And due to the growing importance of intercontinental ballistic missiles, the two built XB-70 prototypes were used for supersonic research. The B-52, which was never intended for low-altitude penetration, managed to outlast its intended successor and remained in service. However, Rockwell International began work on developing a new supersonic strategic bomber to eventually replace the Boeing B-50 to Stratofortress. Rockwell International faced many delays during its development. Nevertheless, the initial version of the aircraft, named the B-1A, was developed in the early 1970s, but production was halted after the first four prototypes were built. However, in 1980, the B-1B was developed based on the B-1A as a low-altitude penetration aircraft. After completing all tests in 1985, the B-1B was commissioned into the U.S. Air Force. 